Welcome everybody, I'm Nick Miller, joined with head coach Dave Porter, who just broke the record for most wins in all of college tennis. Coach, first of all, congratulations, and what did it mean to you to get 1,329 wins as a head coach? Well, I was more excited that we won the match yesterday. Uh, we had a, got up at 3 o'clock in the morning to drive to the airport and flew over there, the kids were tired, and, and uh, you know, had a very good team, especially on the men's side, so we, um, we just felt glad to come out with a win. Coach, you started the tennis program here at BYU-Hawaii. Can you talk us a little bit through the process of starting the program, making the transition to D2, and then coming out with 11 national championships? Well, we started in uh, 1984, and at that time I just had the men's program, and uh, Donna Chun was the women's coach. And we started as a, a, with a, all walk-ons. We had no budget, no release time as coaches. And we did it really because we loved tennis and we wanted to, to develop some enthusiasm for the game among our students. And as we progressed and we had success, the university felt compelled to give us a little bit bigger budget and finally started to give us some scholarships and that's when the program started to flourish. About 10 years later, in 1994, uh, Donna Chen stopped coaching and I supervised the program. We had another coach that, that helped for a year to Derek Gallick, and then after that I took the women's program. So I've had the men for about 32 years and the women for maybe 20 or 22. So in these 32 years of coaching, what has been the most memorable moment for you? Well, there's been a lot of memorable moments. I suppose the first time that the men won the national championship was a particularly exciting time, and when we had our first national champion uh, back then we were in the NAIA, from, from Beijing where he won a 256 draw open tournament to win the singles championship. Those were some definite highlights. But they're all highlights because every year it's new, new kids, new experiences for them. And even though it seems like the same thing over and over again every year, it's different because the players are different. Everyone was kind of saddened to hear that next year BYU-Hawaii will close down the athletic department. What are your plans going into the end of next year? Will you continue coaching? Are you looking to retire? Well, actually, I'm right now with the department chairman for our exercise and sports science department and a full professor. And if we uh, move to discontinue athletics, continues and goes through, I will continue as a professor and hopefully stay as the department chairman for at least a period of time and continue for a few more years. Now, Coach, it, the program here for tennis, there's been, you know, constant just perfection and you guys are a very well put together team and program. What is one thing that you have demanded of your student athletes to do to have this great successful program? Well we've had, we've had good players, that's the first start, but uh, the main thing that I've tried to emphasize with them is they always have to give their best. And if they give their best to me and to each other as, uh, as teammates, then we've been very fortunate to be able to play well at the right times. This year, the women's are ranked nationally at number two. The men, they're at 21. What's it, what is it going to take for both of the teams to come out with a national championship this year? Well, it's a little, little more steep road for the men. I think the men getting to the national tournament is uh, our goal right now. If we get there, then we'll take winning a match at the national tournament one step at a time. For the women's team, I think that they are good enough to be in the discussion for those half a dozen teams that are all good enough to really win it. And I think that we have players that are capable of putting together a run of the title. And I think that they want it. So they're very encouraged by that and they're working hard for it right now. All right. Well, once again, congratulations, Coach, and good luck on the rest of the season. Thank you very much.